All right, so like we did this morning, I want to start off by defining what social responsibility is. So, uh, Rick, I'm going to ask you, what, from a business perspective, is social responsibility? Well, from, from our perspective and from my perspective, and uh, as I said, BV has a very sort of unique um, seat at the table when it comes to social responsibility. But I would say, very simply put, social responsibility is about companies doing the right thing. It's about managing their brand. It's about protecting their brand. It's about being, it's about being honest. It's about being ethical. It's about being moral. Um, it, is, uh, it is not contrary to what uh, some people may think. It is not contrary to making money that social compliance uh, is about doing the right thing, being moral, being ethical, and treating you know, your workers, uh, your product, your brand, the way that you should and should want to be treated. So what the word called greed, and that word is going to be the difference of how the owners of textile apparel entities conduct themselves. I'll make it short. I went to China with the head of the Homeland Security to look at 400 factories. We bought 150 inspectors from Singapore, U.S. inspectors. And out of 400, only 137 existed. <clears throat> All of them were homeworks done, but if, if, if Ralph Lauren walked in, he would see his goods in a factory. And the minute the inspector left, the goods went someplace else. We had, right here, we had 72 operators making 4 million garments a week. Here in South El Monte, impossible. So all I'm saying is we have to write the laws, but we have to have a system, and Veritas is doing one of the best jobs in the world, of monitoring it for companies who are willing to say, listen, this is my code of ethics, this is what I stand for, and where I place my orders, this is what the people I want to deal with. And it, it, it takes an industry, not just a company, it takes an industry to try to straighten this out. The last thing a, a, an emerging designer is thinking about is, a, is probably a code of conduct. <laughs> um, so I think you have to sort of start at the, at the core and work your way out. Um, and then it leads into, as these guys say, um, you know, socially good, you, you know, the, whether it's eco-friendly fabrics or wash techniques or all those things. I mean, those things you sort of have to implement um, in stages. Um, and, and I think, you know, being a lawyer and representing, I, I've always enjoyed you know, the startup brands because you work through all those issues together, um, you know, and. Uh, that's what the big firms are for, is to, for, for the, the polos of the world to, uh, to go out and hire. Um, so again, I mean, just to, to, to say, you know, I think you have to start with the basics um, and guide those companies in the right way, make sure they're set up, and especially the people that, that maybe aren't from America and don't know the laws. And, or